This artifact was just donated to us this summer. It's a clock from 1780 that was done by Joseph Rothrock. His father immigrated here from Germany, and then Joseph served in the American Revolution, and we think he was building clocks for around three to five years. Rothrock died at the age of 25. There's very few surviving um, Rothrock clocks. Um, right now, we only know of three, so and this is one of the three. This particular piece was donated to us by the Ruby family, and it is actually passed through five generations of the Rubies. So it's a federal style clock. It's an eight day clock. And then when we open the inside, there's some provenance information. This explains who it passed to and the dates. Um, it tells us that it actually was purchased by the Rathvon family, but Katharina Rathvon married Henry Ruby in 1815. So that's how the clock then passed into the Ruby family and went all the way to the present owner that was George Wiest Ruby. Usually these cords would be tight. Um, we don't have the weights on them, so that's why they've uh, kind of shrunken up like this. This cord here is actually a gut cord, so it's made out of in animal intestines. We are very fortunate. We actually have a volunteer in the collections department that used to work at the National Watch and Clock Museum. So we specifically picked a Thursday when she would be here so that she could help assist us with setting up the clock. And it was nice because she also, while we had the works out, was able to tell us some information about it, some work that had been done to it. Um, so that was kind of a really extra special part of the unpacking. We found inscribed on the back of the works two clock repair people that had worked on it. And they were pretty early. Um, I think the one was in the 1800s. Pretty much everything went as planned. We were really happy that there wasn't any new damage to it. We could tell though that at some point in the many years and the many homes that this clock has had, it probably was dropped. There was some marks where you could tell that it probably had fallen. But fortunately, it looks like the glass is probably not original, but still very early. It is a very unique piece, and there's so few Rothrock clocks that we know of that it's really special for us to have this maker and to be able to preserve this piece. The clock's here on the mezzanine in the Historical Society Museum. We have it up as a new acquisition, but it will probably remain here at least for the next year or so.